Hey, what's up, folks? It's me, Sonny T, coming back at you with another Cry Lopez. Nope. It's just a podcast for marketers exclusive. Catch me on SoundCloud at Sunny T one, Facebook Funnel Hacker Pro dot com, Stealthy Millionaire on Instagram, and I'm starting my shit back up. Go check me out. YouTube Podcast for Marketers, Billionaire Vids on Snapchat, and Billionaire Vid without the S on Twitter. Smash that thumbs up if you like this video and sub fucking scribe to my channel if you like the content i'm coming out with videos every day go to podcaster podcastformarketers.com i have a free mp3 player over there but you gotta pay for your fucking shipping boom that's it no more promos today folks this this uh this this class here was basically inspired um, by a couple of people that have been hitting me here lately. And uh, this is the top 10 mistakes in no order. I see most people making that want to start an SMMA, right? And just get into the business in general. Just the top 10 mistakes I see people doing that want to get online and start business. Now, the number one mistake I'm seeing is YouTube University. Now... Uh, I know that there's guys out there like me that give out a lot of content and, um, you know, we and even off of my shit, you might be able to get a good direction on which way you should be going, right? But you need to understand that you need to invest in yourself. Okay? And that means books. That means courses. That means whatever it is that you got going on in your life right now, whatever it is that you're trying to do, you need to invest in yourself, okay? You're not going to get everything for free from YouTube. It's just not going to happen. And you might say to me, well, so-and-so did that and blah, 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 right? But what you're doing right now is you're watching everybody else succeed on YouTube, listening to their advice, and probably thinking that you can get started that way. And what I want to tell you is that that's bullshit. You're not going to get started that way. For people that are already in the business and already like moving forward and have started and jumped out of the starting blocks already and they're in motion in business you can get some nuggets from youtube but if you're sitting at your house having never done business before online you're not gonna learn how to do it from watching free youtube channels and if you don't have the resources to pay for books or to pay for courses then you have a long way to go and don't start business until you know what the fuck you're doing. The number two problem I see on the internet without going into it too much is you're not doing your market research. This is sparked from several, several things that I see that goes on, but one of them, the big one was today in my group, and this is not to call this guy out. He figured I was kind of like pissed off at him. It's not being pissed off at him, but what really bugs the shit out of me is when you go to, to any group and say, hey, uh, how do you market uh, a motorcycle? You know, so this is a guy on a motorcycle here. <laughs> he the handlebars. All right. And that's a guy with a motorcycle and a sissy bar in the back. There's his pipes. He's on a Harley. All right, so how do you motor, how do you advertise to motorcycles? And it's like, dude, have you done any fucking research at all? I'm going to work for the Honda dealer, and how do I start advertising to you know men on motorcycles or whatever? And it's like, dude, what I don't understand is, first of all, it's not fair to come to my fucking group, to me and all of the squad members, and ask us to do your fucking work for you. 
if you're going in on YouTube, I mean, excuse me, on Facebook, and you're saying, hey, man, uh, I, I'm having a problem trying to figure out my ad sets or maybe an ad structure or, you know, maybe I'm having a few problems with some creatives or something. Maybe you guys could give me a couple of ideas on creatives. That's one thing. But not to know and your ads are doing shitty because you haven't done any fucking research is 100 percent pure D bullshit. Go do your market research, man. This is probably close to number one because you can't get that market research for, on YouTube University. You know, and this runs me right into number three, right? And I don't know if there's going to be 10 or not, but I can just tell you, Google is your fucking friend. If you are too lazy to Google for yourself, Right? If you're too lazy to Google, why in the fuck should we Google for you? And you're probably saying, Sonny, you're kind of going crazy right now. You're you're going on a tangent. Nah, I mean, it's just real. See, here's the thing. I'm not here to be nice and cozy and chummy, chum, 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 chum with you, right? I went in and I told everybody that the social media marketing agency course idea sucks, right? I told them that. I told you guys since day one when I was doing this that Ty Lopez's or Cry Lopez's course sucks ass and that he's over there making a bunch of fucking losers. And I call them the Lopez loser gang. And I call them that for a reason. Why? Because they don't do their fucking homework. He didn't even teach you how to do the homework in the class. So I have a guy from Venezuela that hit me up today on my channel. And he's like, Sonny, I need to know what to do. I want to be a social media marketing agency guy, right? And I'm like, fuck it. He's like, I got Cy Lopez's course. Well, you fucked up there. He's like, oh, I got it on a group buy. However you bought it, it's a piece of shit. I wouldn't have paid $20 for that fucking course, right? So now... Number five, and this is the problem I see with people that are non-English speakers. And you could talk all the shit that you want to, but when I tell you what I have to tell you right now, it should fucking ring home a little bit. Out of all of the people that are in the United States of America, man, none of them have a problem speaking English and conveying the fact that they have a social media marketing agency that can do some work for somebody besides you being down there in fucking Mexico or uh, Argentina or whatever. If your English isn't as good as an American or a native speaking English person, why should they do business with you? And you're not there. You have two strikes against you right now. Number one, you've got an accent, a heavy accent. Number two, you're not even fucking in the United States of America. Number three, do you have a good hold of their client? Have you done your market research? Probably fucking not, right? So now you've got three strikes against you. And then you've got some American dude calling up speaking perfect English. Well, check that fucking box. He's right there in town with him. Well, check that fucking box. And he understands the American culture and pretty much knows how to do his market research. Check that box. Who do I fucking pick? Right now, there's hope for you, though. And let me tell you why you have an advantage in your own country. Now, Venezuela's pretty bad off right now, right? And I'm not going to talk about them in, like, in a shitty way, but I understand that you guys are having a food problem over there, and I understand that this guy was telling me that his his budget, he makes 15 U.S. dollars a month. Now, that's a rough fucking uh, life, man, and I understand it, and I know you're trying to get out of it, and I want to help you get out of it, Right? But the first thing I'm going to tell you, man, is your superpower is you speak Spanish. That's your superpower, dude. There's money in Mexico. Okay? There's money in Argentina. There's money in fucking Spain. No matter what nobody tells you. Don't try to say they aren't. They're over here on the Euro. There's money here. There's also expats from Venezuela all around the globe that want to hear from you. Okay, that might be in business in Australia. 
They might be in business in the United States of America. They want to talk to you, man. Right? There might be a business that wants to advertise to expatriates all over the globe from Venezuela. Look at your, your, I mean, how how many times I got to tell you guys that you're living in your niche. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that you're living in your niche. You guys need to get that in your heads, man. I'm giving you fucking millions of dollars when I tell you that. Stop looking all over the place and everybody wants to do business with the United States of America. Like that's the fucking end all to end alls. Let me tell you, man, I've been around the world around the fat part of the world at least three times been to something like 63 countries man and in every country i went to no one was breaking down the fucking gates of the borders trying to get to the united states of america man there's always that one percent of the country that can uh, uh, you know of, of any place that controls the entire country your job in venezuela is trying to get to that one percent you need one good gig with one of those one percenters that will get your budget up past this $15 a month, right? You need that one person, that one percenter that you can do business with. You speak a good enough English in your country to get by where people will want to do business with you. You need to spend that $15 on a good pair of slacks, a good shirt, tighten yourself up, man, and uh, spend the rest of your money on books and you obviously have some type of uh, resources to where you can get online and educate yourself enough in marketing, right? And is nothing wrong with going to iTunes. There's actual marketing lectures on iTunes. There's nothing wrong with going and getting rooted in real marketing lectures. There's free, the free universities, just Google that. And they put a lot of classes out for free online. Go do those classes and download those free books. You can torrent the books. I've done it myself, man, because I hate paying money to people, right? <laughs> so I've done it myself before. And read those books and get rooted in real marketing techniques, okay? And then when you do get an ad budget, don't advertise to the United States. Why are you winning? Countries, there's African in countries and in uh in uh in africa there's countries in africa that speak french why are you winning because the french are traditionalist they'll answer your sms and your text messages they'll answer your emails in french because they don't want to speak english they hate it right so you win and there's money here so take your knowledge what you have your superpower is that you speak french and I speak French, but I'm not going to fucking do business with it. I speak Spanish. I'm 98% fluent in fucking Spanish. Won't do business doing that, though. And I'm right here with Spain, right? But that's your superpower. They're going to do business with you quick. You need to speak proper fucking Spanish, though. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the difference between speaking the English that I'm speaking and trying to speak to Brits. You know what I mean? There's a proper English that they speak. That's the difference in Spanish, Castellano, and like, you know, the Espanol we speak in uh, Panama or fucking Venezuela, right? So learn to speak pop proper fucking Spanish and shoot your cold emails off. Shoot your text messages off for free. Start doing business like that, man. There's tons of companies that could use your business. You guys have similar cultures. You have a proper, you understand their language perfectly. And to advertise in Spain or France or just Europe in general is probably something like 80% cheaper than advertising in the United States of America, man. These are some of the, the mistakes that I'm seeing a lot of you guys making, man. You're not staying in your lane, which, makes, which brings me to number six, man. And I don't, like I said, I don't know if there'll be so 10. I just named this 10. But number six is stay in your fucking lane, man. And understand this, man. If you stay in your lane, doesn't mean that you can't, you know, turn on your fucking turn signals and get in another lane when you're ready to, to get in the fast lane. But if you're in a slow lane, man, there's a lot to be learned in that fucking lane. Stay in it. So I'm seeing people go out, right? Here's the fucking... <laughs> the fast lane and here's the fucking slow lane you guys are hurrying up getting in the fast lane and don't know shit 
And I'm going to tell you something, man. Um, right now to you, it might seem like you're being intellectual or something when you go and you go to someone's group and you go, Hey man, you know, I just, you might think that you're sounding slick. Hey, I just got my new client and I'm only 16 years old. And Hey, does anybody have any experience with a dance studio? You sound fucking stupid because you didn't stay in your lane and go do your market research. You didn't stay over here long enough. Now you went and took somebody's money, $900 or $1,000, listening to the fucking Lopez loser gang. And now you can't do your work. It's because you didn't stay in your lane and you rushed to try to get to work, man. And I get it. We're all broke. I'm just as broke as you are, man. And I'm trying my best to get out here and make as much money as I can. Now, let me tell you a story. Uh, a friend of mine decided that he wanted to take my services and post it up on a popular message board, right? And I told him, man, listen, it's not time for that yet. And he swore up and down, man, Sonny, I'm telling you, dude, you're like fucking the King Kong of marketing, man. And I want to offer your services. I'm going to put it out there for $1,000, man. And guess what, folks? I fucking flopped. I fucking took a shit right there in the middle of that fucking form. Why? Because I wasn't staying in my fucking lane. I was a dumbass. So what I want you to understand is I'm not telling you this because I'm fucking almightier than thou, sunny fucking T, and I'm just some. No, I suck ass just like you. I got out of my lane and I got fucking smashed by a fucking truck and pushed me back in the slow lane. Get the fuck back over there and learn how to market before you come out here asking for $1,000 a course. And I learned my fucking lesson. This is some hard medicine, man. You guys are probably going to hate this fucking video. And it's okay, man, because for the person that's listening to it right now, you know, I always leave those nuggets all the way at the end, right? For the person, for you, the person that's listening to this and not taking it personal, right? Because none of this is fucking personal. I just told you I fucking flopped. I sucked. It's not personal. I didn't take any of it personal. You know what I did? I fucking got up, I dusted my knees off and fucking shook all the dust and fucking and, and washed my mouth out all the fucking shit that the horse shit I had to eat when I fell. Combed my fucking hair back, took a shave, cleaned the fuck up, <laughs> put my fucking hat back on and got right back to fucking work, man. But it taught me to stay in my lane. There's levels to this shit. There is levels. And you need to understand that. So I don't know if I'm going to go through a whole 10, right? But that right there is pr a pretty good lesson for you guys, right? I got a few more I can tell you, but I really kind of want to leave you there to make you understand, man. Like the t I'll just call this the top five reasons then, whatever the fuck, it doesn't matter. But I want you to understand, man, that there is a, there is value in staying in your lane and learning each step of the way, man. And it's, it's, uh, I've, I've, uh, fell and bruised myself up. And this is the reason why I'm putting these fucking, uh, videos out for you. Why I talk on podcasts, but because I'm trying to save you from busting your ass and whether or not you believe it or not, there's a lot of marketers that are just looking on at you and going, this dude is fucking stupid. And it looks silly if you're going into <laughs> a group of mastermind Facebook ad dudes and saying, you can't figure out how to open a business manager up. You're like, what the fuck? What are you doing here? Right? And the coldest thing about it all is shit that has to do with Facebook is they fucking tell you, you just read the fucking documentation and they'll tell you how to do everything you need to do. And these are how all these dudes are making money off of you, man. So what the first thing I want to tell you guys to do, man, is get the fuck off of YouTube thinking that YouTube is going to be the end all to your business because it's not. Go buy those books. That's the next thing, man. When you're asking guys, you know, do you have any top books you can recommend? Yeah, man, go on Google like I did and go look them up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You know how I find books, man? I find everybody I like, right? So there was Jay Abraham, Dan Kennedy, uh, John Carlton, um, even Russell Brunson or whatever. Um, uh, Dan Meredith, he's kind of on my list. I'm about to go in on Dan Meredith. That's a whole different story, but he's kind of. And then what I do is I just say, you know, and I add in 
uh, top 10 books. And just about all of them will have a blog article with the best books that they like to buy. And then once you read the books, look inside the books and the author will almost most assuredly mention books that he likes to read. Write those fucking things down. And then go on fucking um, Amazon and look at the reviews of the books. And in somebody's most for sure, I guarantee you, and just about everyone is going to say, this book sucked. Go get... And they're going to name off a few books. That's a better book. And I've done it a million times, right? And that's how I start collecting books. And then I start finding out if you read those books, you'll start understanding there's a, a ladder that you need to climb. So you start buying those books. And I try to read two a week. Just depends on how busy I am. But I try to read two books a week. And I'll keep ordering. If you can't afford them, that's no excuse. Go to the library, right? So Google your book, start, start doing your work and you're going to have to pay for courses, man. And I've said this before, if you can't afford them, then you need to be industrious enough and studious enough to figure out how to get these courses without paying for them. Everybody else does. I've seen my shit torrented. So <laughs> you just need to figure out how to go get the shit, man. I don't give a fuck. Do whatever you have to do to get out of your situation, right? And remember that if you're in a situation where you're only making $15 a month, there's a way out. There absolutely is a way out. But don't think that it's always the United States of America that you can do it. You remember, you live in your niche. I bet you if, well, I've been in Panama, man. I've been, I've lived in Panama, right? I've lived there. And been shit on my ass in Panama. You guys want to hear a story really quickly before I leave? I was in Panama in 2000 and like three or four on my ass with like $2 in my fucking pocket. And uh, I was in the newspaper. No, actually, I was in a web cafe trying to figure out how to make some money online. Saw a guy on the phone. And he was talking big business, man. He was at, oh man, he was, he, I was like, man, and I just got up. I said, man, I want to know what the fuck you do. And he was a dick, really. His name was Carlos. I'll never forget him. He was a, kind of a dick. You know, he, you know, he, I, he, he figured, you know, well, fuck, this guy doesn't have anything. I don't know. You know, let me introduce you to another friend of mine. And so he introduced me to his other friend. His other friend wasn't such a dick, right? And all he had was a, a phone center, a call center. Party over. Done. I met that dude. He gave me the script. It was game over right there. I don't have to tell you anymore. I made hundreds of thousands of dollars from that point. I was down to dollars <laughs> on my dresser every day. I remember stealing Kool-Aid every day to go with like a 50 cent piece of chicken I had purchased. Oh, it was bad, man. So... And this isn't to try to get you like to say, you know, oh, well, Sonny, I'm not trying to like uh, identify with you or anything. I don't want you to try to identify with me or anything. This is just a true story. Right. I, I can back that story up. And why would the fuck I would? Why would I even tell you that? Right. I've been there. I know what it is. And I've been in a, in a Spanish speaking country. Right. And I got on the fucking phones. I crashed the phones and I made money from there. And then what did I do? I flew the fuck out of there just as soon as I could. <laughs> the first ticket I could get, man. The first one, as soon as I made some money, I flew the fuck out of there, man. Right. And so that's what you need to do, man. You, I understand that you're, you're down on your luck. You got 15 fucking bucks a month, man. It's not nothing. Plus you got to feed your family. I get it, but there is a way out, man. But the way out is not to just jump over everything and looking right at the United States of America. When you got a bunch of shit right there in your own country, there's money there. Go find it. Coffee break. <sighs> Ha, 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 ha.